Hi everyone, today I will be building an electric jet powered bike using an industrial 3D printer and a Tesla battery pack. Let's get to it. Now my initial goal was to make this bike go as fast as possible. In hindsight, I could have just gotten a large electric motor and attached it to the rear wheel, but I really wanted to do something with my Z18 printer. So I decided to print a massive one foot diameter turbine duct capable of providing 50 to 100 pounds of thrust. Now the printing time did take about two weeks, but I only needed to use about five pounds of filament. The turbine was modeled from a GE90 fan blade, since the simulations I ran showed that this fan blade could give us the most thrust. On the interior of the turbine, I added some slanted airfoils, which helped to straighten out the airflow. Now the bottom of the airfoil was attached to a flat platform, which I mounted to the rear of the bike. For a two week print, the 3D print job looked pretty good. Nonetheless, it helped to sand down the turbine and give it a good paint job. For the battery pack, I used the rest of my Tesla cells, which were harvested from a Model S battery. Each cell was cleaned and heat shrinked. Now, since I wanted to reuse the Tesla cells in the future, I designed a snap-on battery pack so that each individual cell could be removed in case I wanted to remove them or upgrade the cells. Now my battery pack can handle a max output of seven kilowatts, so I chose the Trackstar seven kilowatt brushless motor, along with a very oversized speed controller. The motor specs didn't exactly show me where the drill holes were on the motor, so I just 3D printed the turbine without any mounting holes. Once I got the motor in the mail, I filled the inside of the motor mount with epoxy and I drilled the screw holes in the motor mount where they needed to be. Now, all there is left to do is attach the duct and the battery to the bike. In hindsight, adding the duct behind my seat was a bad idea. I would have gotten more thrust and more safety if I added two smaller sized ducts to the sides of the rear wheel. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.